Hello viewers. In this lecture, I'm going to explain how to design a MATLAB code for three different numerical schemes that have been proposed in a research paper titled Modeling Attractors of Chaotic Dynamical Systems with Fractal Fractional Operators. The paper was published in 2019 in a research journal named Chaos, Solitons, and Fractals, written by Professor Abdul Natangana and me. In this research paper, authors have used the newly proposed differential and integral operators that are called fractal, fractional derivatives and integrals to predict the chaotic behavior of some attractors that appear in the field of applied mathematics. These new differential operators are indeed the convolution of fractal derivative with power law, exponential decay, and Metta-Leffler function. These new operators have the potential to capture self-similarities in the chaotic attractors. So basically, three different numerical schemes have been proposed, and the purpose of this lecture is, is to show you how to design a single MATLAB M file that can produce the results for all the three numerical schemes. Once again, only one M file is needed. So let's go to MATLAB. And here you can see that starting from line number 9 till 17 this is the required data for the dynamical system i have chosen the system is the system of three differential equations which are mentioned as f1 f2 and f3 and then you can see some initial conditions step size integration interval number of iterations required and the value of fractional order and the value for the fractal dimension these are the things which i have already explained in my previous lectures let me run this code before i explain few other things okay so now the first for loop as you see on the screen is the algorithm of the fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense, a numerical scheme that I have already explained in my previous videos. So that is why I am not going into much detail. You can watch one of my previous lectures to see how this numerical scheme is coded in the for loop. So a scheme is given in the research paper and this is for the simulation of any nonlinear differential equation system of nonlinear differential equations which are being investigated with fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense. Now, if we continue, then by giving the double person sign, you can write your second code for the second numerical scheme, which is about Caputo, Caputo Fabrizio. The purpose of these two person signs is that they are used for dividing our code into sections, which can be run independently. So that is why in the second section, I have mentioned a for loop for the numerical scheme defined in the research paper for Caputo Fabrizio. And then the third one is for Atangana Baliano. So you can see my previous videos to know about these numerical schemes. We have got the face portraits. So look at the first figure. This is the face portrait obtained in the Caputo sense. Likewise, this one is the face portrait by the fractal fractional operators defined in the Caputo Fabrizio sense. I mean the output of our second numerical scheme. And finally, 
the third figure is the face portrait y versus x which is for the third numerical scheme that we have coded for the simulation of dynamical system defined with fractal fractional operators in the atangana baliano sense now you can obtain other face portraits as well i mean you can give the command in such a way so that you could have a face portrait for z versus x for z versus y or y versus z so different kinds of commands could be given even if you want to get third dimensional surface then you will have to use the command plot 3 now you can see here that to obtain the phase portrait for the first numerical scheme in a separate graphing window i have typed the command figure 1 along with the legend similarly this command figure 2 is to obtain the face portrait which is from the second numerical scheme and it has its own legend and finally figure 3 i have also written tick and talk command command before and at the end of each loop so let's go to command window and you can see that around 51 seconds were taken by Caputo. 0 0.03 by Caputo Fabrizio and about 57 seconds were taken by the loop defined under Caputo, defined under fractal fractional operators in the Tangana Baliano sense. So that's it. This is all about the numerical schemes in MATLAB, how we can define the code, how we can design a code in 1M file for all the three numerical schemes. In my upcoming lecture, I will explain how we can drive a numerical technique, which is one of the famous techniques and the fundamental techniques used in fractional calculus known as forward Euler's method. So I will present the derivation of that numerical technique step by step in my upcoming lecture. Thank you for watching.